Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. So on today's video I thought I'd mix it up a little bit um, and do a skincare video because during this week I've been trying to continuously keep up with my skincare routine and I've noticed that I did, I've had a massive breakout, like massive, and it's on like, you probably can't really tell on your mind, <laughs> but um, it's on my forehead, it's on my like cheeks, everywhere. And I was like, I spoke to my friend and she does beauty. And I was like, I don't understand because if I'm doing skincare, then why is it breaking out so badly? She said, in order for it to work, so if you're doing it continuously every day, that is bringing all the badness out of your skin. So all your pores and all of the bad, bad like icky stuff is all coming out now. Because then in a few weeks time, you won't have a breakout because you've got it all out now because you're continuously using your products. So... I use this, um, like, it's sort of like an acid from Superdrug. And at first, like, I was looking at them and I was like, oh, no, putting acid on my face and, like, you know, all different chemicals and stuff. I don't know whether it would work because my skin is so sensitive. And weirdly, it has really worked. It's got stuff like glycolic, glycoltic, can't really pronounce it, um, tonic in. And so that basically, it awakens your skin. It gives it a bit of a natural glow. But then I was a bit confused because if it gives it a natural glow, why is everything coming out? Because it brings all the ickiness and badness out of your skin. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you what I do and what routine I do on a night and on a morning. And so I'll give you a few tips and trades. So uh, bad skin, a lot of people like suffer with it. So like boys and girls, like in any gender, some people do really feel self-conscious about it. And what I want to show is, no matter what filter, no matter what makeup you use, whatever, don't ever feel like, say if you're looking at someone and you think, oh my gosh, she's got mint skin, or, or he, it, on his Instagram, like his Instagram looks mint, half the time it is filtered so don't ever feel put off and don't ever feel like oh i don't want to put a photo on because their skin's mint and mask and da, 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 da. you just gotta warn it and there is stuff out there to help so drinking loads of water that is a massive factor i remember ages ago it got to a point where it was really really bad and i just started drinking water all the time and through different products you do you do realize what products aren't for you like simple that doesn't really react well with masking um and different products like that um but water does really really help or if you get like a pint of water squeeze a lemon squeeze a lime that's supposed to like clear all your skin out and whatever else anyway i'm gonna get on to it um and but just what i want to show is that it's not you think some people do really get self-conscious about it when say if they're out and you know you're talking to someone and you get really conscious like someone's looking at your skin or someone's looking at something that you're really self-conscious about chances are they're not and half the time it's your personality that attracts them the most so don't ever feel self-conscious about it because at the end of the day that's on you and i just want to show that so first of all you get the substance put it on like a cotton wool pad whatever else and then so i start by like i rub it on my forehead but then i get all the spots as well so like I really, really like drag it on and do like every part of my face, do my eyebrows, do the sides and up here, that's the worst where all the spots are sort of forming. So I do it there as well. So I turn it over and I don't know whether you can see, but you can sort of see like orangey, like, I don't know what it is, but like an excess and that's sort of like all just the ickiness coming off your skin throughout the day. Like I haven't had any makeup on today at all, but it's just getting all the ickiness out of your skin. So I turn it over and I do the other side. So I'll do this side of my face as well. And I get them, I don't know if any of you do, but I always get them at the side of my face. Um, and a lot of my friends do struggle with bad skin. And during school, I had some friends who were like really self-conscious about it, but don't ever feel self-conscious about it and don't ever feel like you're the only one because chances are, majority of your friends all suffer with skin problems. And it's yeah don't ever single yourself out and think oh my gosh because everyone has it it's part of life especially during teenage years as well and some adult years as well everyone faces it and also it smells really nice i just thought i'd put that out there so so i've got it all off got all the achiness off and then straight after i use nivea so this a pound from poundland a pound do you think oh my gosh nivea it's so expensive no get it from poundland it's just a moisturizer so i get a little bit and I rub it on this side, just like all over my face, like I probably rub it in over the spots and everywhere else. 
then I do the other side as well. I don't drown myself in it, I just do like a little bit. Do that side, do the chin, do the nose, everywhere. And then I'll do the top of my forehead as well. Because my forehead is the most where I get spots, I just sort of tend to proper rub it in and go everywhere. Um, and just like all around and then just massage it in just massage it in do your neck face should feel really really smooth try not to touch your face because often that can spread it a little bit more and also when my friend said if you're sleeping on like say what one side of the pillow every night try and turn it over onto like a different new side because i'm sure we all sleep in weird positions and you if you don't think but you do tend to wipe your face on your pillow a lot so that could be spreading it a little bit more so try and wash your bed in as often as you can i don't mean like all the time but just try swapping your like pillows around <laughs> um i don't know whether i said this is from super drug six pound 99 so i'm a bit hesitant buying things that are sort of expensive i'm tight <laughs> but i can honestly say this has worked wonders and it's really good so super drug six pound 99 pound pound chop and 75p super drug <laughs> sometimes they're not expensive when it comes to skincare you just have to look out for the right ones on the floor. and look out for the right tips and trades so remember drink lots of water lemon and lime helps and if it is really bad go to your doctor because my friend did that and she got free products as well so yeah i hope this video has helped you and i hope it's taught you not to feel self-conscious because we all go through it we all all of us have bad skin in one way or another sometimes people just naturally have good skin but like I said before, we've all got different flaws, so never compare yourself. And I'm going to put some of like photos from my bad skin this week in now. But you've seen my skin and how bad that can get. So we all go through it, so never feel self-conscious. Have a fab day. I hope you've enjoyed it. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.